right, today we're gonna make my grandma's meat pies. My mom gave me the recipe and I'm excited to try it. What you're gonna need is a pound of ground pork and beef. You're gonna need four large potatoes, a large onion. You're gonna need a ready-made pie crust or you can make your own. My mom recommends these. Um, you're gonna need some kind of all-spice seasoning, whatever you like to season your meat with. I'm gonna use those and also parsley and salt and pepper. Then you're gonna need a splash of milk for when you boil your potatoes and make your mashed potatoes and a little butter. And then after everything comes out of the oven, you definitely have to have a pickle and then shake a little bit of the everything bagel seasoning on it. You can't eat a meat pie without a pickle on the side and a little bit of this shaking on it. So good. All right, let's get started. Okay, what we're gonna do is go ahead and take our pie crust out of here and we're gonna let them get to room temperature. There's two of them. I'm gonna go ahead and clean and peel the potatoes and chop them up. And I'm gonna dice the onion. So we're just gonna go ahead and peel our potatoes. All right, so I got all my potatoes peeled and I'm just gonna go ahead and give them like a coarse chop and then we're gonna go ahead and boil them. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start boiling our potatoes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and slice up our onion, dice it up. All right, we got our pound of ground pork and our pound of ground beef, and we got our diced onions. We're gonna go ahead and add the seasonings. All right, we added all our seasoning, and let's start frying. As we're frying our meat, let's go ahead and check our potatoes to see if they're soft so we can mash them. We are getting there. All right, mixed it all together, and we're frying it up. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. If you do not have one of these, you need one. You gotta really mix up that beef and that pork. The meat's all done. I drained um, the grease and I'm gonna just put it back on the stove on low until I get the mashed potatoes ready. My potatoes are all done. They're nice and soft. I'm gonna go ahead and drain them and start mashing them. Okay, I added a tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper and I'm gonna add a little milk. All right, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of milk and then we'll mash them. All right, let's get mashing. All right, my potatoes are all mashed. We're gonna go ahead and add it to the meat and onion mixture. All right, I added my mashed potatoes and now we're just gonna go ahead and mix it all up. Okay, it's all mixed up. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our pie crust ready. You're going to take a glass pie dish or you can use the aluminum foil ones that are disposable. You're going to take your crust, you're going to unroll it gently. Remember your crust is at room temperature. And then we're going to slowly just lay it in the bowl. I'm just firmly but gently making sure it's on all the edges. Okay, so now we have our meat and our potatoes and our onions and all our seasoning. We have our pie crust ready, and now we're gonna start scooping it and filling the pie crust. And we wanna push it down. Okay, so we do have a lot left, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make another one and freeze it. And now we're gonna go ahead and take the other crust, unroll it, and we're going to gently apply it to the top here. I'm just kind of rolling it and making sure I'm squeezing it to the other one, and then I'll make a cute uh, pinch on it. So if you can see that, you're just kind of rolling it with the other crust. Grab the other crust, kind of roll it in and pinch it. Roll it in and pinch it. And I'm just kind of taking a fork and I'm pinching both of the crusts together all the way around. All right, and then I'm just now folding it back. Onto the pie pan. And there we go. 
All right, it's all done. I put a little design on mine. You don't have to. I'm gonna go ahead and take some foil and cover the crust for like the first 10 minutes. And I'm gonna bake it for probably about 40 to 45 minutes. If you have a frozen one, you need to cook it at least an hour, hour and 15 minutes on 375, and you need to leave the foil on for 30 minutes. But since mine is not frozen, it's gonna go in for about 40 minutes, I would say. All right, crust is covered, it's going in the oven. Okay, so I have a lot of filling left over, so I'm gonna go ahead and get like a to-go pie pan. I'm letting my crust come to room temperature, and I'm gonna build it, wrap it up in foil, and freeze it. All right, I got my to-go pan all ready, and I'm gonna go ahead and start filling it. We got that one all made, I'm gonna go ahead and put the crust on the top now. All right, my save for later is all done. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it in foil and put it in the freezer. And maybe have it in two weeks for dinner. It's going in the freezer. Let's check on our other one that's in the oven. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes and now I'm taking off the foil around the crust. Okay, I left it in the oven actually for 45 minutes. You want the crust to be nice and brown. And now we're gonna go ahead and add a little melted butter for the crust. And that's what's for dinner tonight. All right, now the only way to eat a meat pie, you gotta have a dill pickle and a little everything bagel seasoning and sprinkle it on top. Let's cut it up and serve it. Looks so good. 